So I've been doing ceramics in the city here for 13 years. Walked into Ruby Studio because a friend wanted to do a class there. And for, something just took off. I enjoy doing it. It's got my passion. Uh, people like to do uh, all kinds of things, but I pretty much stick to bowls and platters. I like functional wear. I like pieces that people can pick up and actually use. And I also like when they're not being used, that they can just sit still and be look nice, look pretty, look whatever it is, but the, that they have something to them. Ceramic artists tend to be tactile. So uh, if you pick up a piece of mine, you're going to feel all kinds of things. Even the inside will, will relate to the outside. But even from a distance, when you're looking at those pieces, I want you to see something. There's something that, you know, if you... You know, you didn't see before. If, you, if that piece has been in your in your room or your house for quite a while, you come home one day and you, your eye catches something new. That's great. That's what I like to hear. The other thing I like to hear, people come up to me all the time and they and they tell me that they're always using that little bowl they just they bought. You know, I love hearing that. It makes me feel very proud of the work I do. Glazes. I tend to do earth tone. You know, I'm from Minnesota, I'm American native, and it's just something that relates to me. Uh, I do use a lot of color. I like to have design with color. Uh, I used to paint on canvas. I had a studio back in Minnesota for a number of years. But uh, now I create these large platters that are like my new canvas. And you know, you'll see it uh, when you look at my work. You'll see something that translates from what I used to do on canvas. But other, other things is like uh, sometimes the glaze will grab me. I've got a, a series of yellow happening right now. The glaze I discovered that I can't walk away from. The thing that gets my attention is doing a lot of different things. From being, what's the word I want to use? From being very matte-like to very gloss-like and I like that combination. And then also then like, you know, it shows up from brown to yellow. You know, so it's... it's it's just it's just very interesting it's got got my attention and I want to work with it I want to see what I can do with it today's show what we're doing here is is we brought Ruby's gallery and studio to go Gate park it's an event that allows people one of the things we do at Ruby's is we give people San Francisco artists a way to do their work we, they're somewhat subsidized by the community we're a nonprofit you can't afford to do ceramics on your own unless you've got a lot of money. Kilns and firings and glazes, it costs a lot. But if you've got a hundred people in one little building, which is what we have, coming together, we all have the advantage of a huge gas kiln or electric kiln. We all have the advantage of 23, 26 different glazes instead of uh, four or five. And it's just a wonderful thing that we have in the city. And what we do is, it's like, you know, we encourage people to uh, continue their work in many ways. We have a gallery where they can show their work, learn how to set it up and light it and price it. And this is just another thing. Street fairs is a thing that uh, many artists have to deal with. And this is a nice, safe environment where you're here with your friends and you're spending very little money and putting your time and energy to learn your craft, you're the craft of marketing your work. I do have a website. My website is just my name. You know, it's charlesbelgarjr.com. It's the place where you can see what kind of work I do. If you, if you like what you see and you're afraid to ask questions and you want to see more, that's a great way to do it. Just go home and uh, plug in.